Hey guys, today's video is a little different. I'm very excited because you've been asking for a long time for this, but I am going to show you guys my filming area slash office. It's pretty cool, so come with me and I'll show you exactly where the magic goes down, I guess. Welcome to my filming area slash office slash Tinted HQ. For the most part and most days, I leave the garage open. As you can see, this is literally a garage situation. My entire apartment studio in New York City was the size of this garage. And I used to have like a little corner area where I did my filming and now I feel like I have space. Okay, so starting with this fridge, it seems like a small thing, but it's been a game changer in our office. This is a fridge from New Air. This side is meant to be for water bottles. We love LaCroix around here. Sparkling water and some snacks up here, healthy snacks only and the other side is meant for wine my life has changed recently I've been on an anti-wine way of life before my sister's wedding so you can see we actually have like a bunch of suja on this side <laughs> there is some other drink down here because we have people filming in here and we want to entertain our guests you feel me I love that it's like temperature controlled and all that stuff and it's like a really good size it doesn't take up too much space in the office you know this is my grandma's sorry I think you guys might remember this from my home tour in New York City I'm still figuring out a place in my house for it so until until then, it's just nice to have a little piece of my grandma in here with me. I have robes right here that this is what I like film with. Listen, you gotta make it work. 99% of my life, I'm in a robe. Juhi's filming this, by the way, and she's literally nodding her head. This right here is my makeup storage situation. This has changed my entire life. It's quite a different change from what it was in New York. This is actually four different pieces from Ikea. I'll put links for everything that we use to put this whole thing together. But just so you guys know, my my budget I gave myself was like 3K to remodel this entire garage and turn it into a home office. So everything is labeled. Labels are like actually really affordable and I got ones that actually are gold so it looks prettier. And like all my lipsticks, which is a lot. <laughs> So my lipsticks are, for the most part, organized by brand and color. I try at least, especially this section right here. I was going crazy. Honestly, like a big reason why I wanted to leave New York was like I was going insane. It was like all these boxes were piling up and so many of my YouTuber friends told me like, you have to have the space to have the creative freedom to think and I so get it now. Like having just space and everything organized, I can be like, oh, I, I feel like I want to do use this today or that today and things like that. So every single drawer is labeled down to the blushes and bronzers and foundations and highlighters. I got my primers and setting sprays, concealers and correctors. I may or may not be obsessed with Neutrogena wipes. <laughs> I actually use some of my fragrances as decor because they're so pretty. This was really cool. I have like my YouTube 100K subscribers. Hopefully it'll be a million. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Thanks. <laughs> this is an award I got from Sigma Beauty, which was really cool for International Women's Day. This chair was my filming chair in New York City and I got it from ABC Home. It is not cheap. I think it's like $600. So I'm not counting this in my 3K budget if anyone's wondering. This throw was super affordable. I think it was, it wasn't Ikea, but it was like Target or something. This rug is like one of my favorite things in this office because it feels very tinty. Kate found this, who's our creative director for Tinted. I believe she found it from like Craigslist or something insane and it was like under $100. I have a little nail polish and vitamin section. Of course, Ollie everywhere. Down here, you'll see that there's some hair stuff. My life is basically run by Orbe, so when it comes to hair stuff, this is basically all that's here. These are some gift sets that I've gotten from brands that I leave for giveaway for you guys because I feel like they're really exciting to see pretty giveaways, like it's a little bestie. So then now we're moving to our skincare section over here. This is my little sheet mask drawer. Again, like when people come over, I'm like, do you guys want a mask? Take your pick. It just feels like fun and cute. These are all my actual masks, so not the sheet masks and then these are all the eye masks and then I have all my skincare here that's more of a display but like these are all organized by like moisturizers and then I have my serums and toners my face and body stuff is in here I love the birds chirping it's so zen oh it makes me so happy this is another Ikea sectional I've got to be able to separate the Deepika stuff from the tinted stuff that's my house and this is my office and I can shut it and shut off work it took three years but I finally had a process down three years but it feels good so the way I have it divided 
it is, this is all my Deepika stuff, and this is all tinted stuff on this side. The top of here says donations. We do monthly donations to people in LA, and then this is for friends giveaway. So this is when my girlfriends come over, I'm like, oh yeah, do you guys want anything? These are all the products that I've just gotten from brands that I need to test out. There's like a ton over here. So when I get a product and I'm like, oh, I wanna use this for a tutorial or a video, I'll put them into here. There's actually an air condition built into this garage, which is awesome. I feel like it gets expensive, so I actually just bought one of these. It's like literally so cheap, I got it on Amazon. It's just a little air unit that if it ever gets hot in here, which is rare because LA is awesome and everyone should move here. The reality is that with the lights that we have in the filming area, sometimes it's nice to just have like a little fan going, you know? So now we're gonna go from the storage area to the filming area, which is literally right next to it. <laughs> this is my filming area right here. You guys, it feels so good. Oh my God, this is so funny. This is literally a garage, you guys. Like this is just hanging down. The annoying thing is this thing. I need to like turn off the sensor because it'll like turn on and off. So if you see in my videos that like sometimes the light changes, it's because of this. There is a sunroof in this garage so we literally took paper and just covered up the top of it. Listen, we're scrappy around here. We make it work. This wall right here that you see is actually not a real brick wall. It's a fake wallpaper that Kate helped me put on here. Like you literally could see the divide between the two. Look, like that's the wall and this is the brick wall. But I really like how it gives texture in the back of my videos. But I do think it's kind of messing up my lighting and so I'm trying to figure that out. I think it makes things a little grayer. And then we put up two shelves. It's a little merchandise to feel like my like personality a little bit. I think that helps in videos when you see a little bit of the person's personality. Of course, I got a little cute beauty blender set up and then these Venus flowers I think are so beautiful and such a great way to decorate an office. I know some people are like, they're so expensive, blah, 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 but you guys, they last a year and they have so many cool colors to them. Greenery is a new thing in my life since my New York apartment. These are fake. I'm not really good at like taking care of things that live like even fishes. Like I was never good at that stuff. I really want a dog. I do, but I can't, I can't, I can't. This stool I really like and this is what I sit on when I film my tutorials. And then this table is what I had in my New York place too. It's used and I bought it used, but it's so beautiful. I love mirrored things. I have this glam board right here. And this glam board is essentially like the only thing I keep on here so I don't go crazy. And every time I film a tutorial, I'll take it from the area over there, which is where it says when I'm filming and just grab it and put it on my glam board. And this is all I have right here. The other new development in my life, and this is because of my girlfriend, Melissa, I've been keeping a jug of water next to me because sometimes when I'm filming or working, I like go through the whole day and I realize I don't drink any water. She's so right. It makes you feel like it's almost like a game. So I like, mm. I always try to finish at least one of those jugs a day and I got that thing on Amazon, super easy. I'll always have a little cute coaster. My friend Ami gave me these. They're so beautiful and they say D on it. And then I always have a mirror on here, of course. I think Dove gave this to me, which was really nice and it's actually really pretty. I love when brands give things that are actually useful. I think they gave me this robe too. But a new development in my life is this monitor situation. So I never had a monitor in New York City, you guys, but I got this monitor, I think it was 150. Now I can like actually see what I look like. And I know every YouTuber always has had this. I've always seen my friends have and I'm like, wow, they're so legit. It basically makes it so I can film by myself. Like I don't have to be dependent on anybody. And if you know me, I don't like to be dependent on people. So these two soft boxes right here, I just feel like sometimes it complicates things. And you guys have told me in my videos that like sometimes it feels like it's a little too washed out. These two specifically are fancier ones, but I used to have a set of soft boxes that worked great in New York City that were from Amazon also for 200 bucks. So if you want soft boxes, get it. But like I have kind of come to the conclusion with your help that all I really need need is a ring light and this thing is also like a hundred something bucks from Amazon. Most of the time I film essentially just using this ring light, this newer ring light with my camera right in front of it. I have a mic right here, it's a Rode mic. Honestly, I'm wearing a mic right now. It was from Sammy's here in LA, but it was not a lot of money. In a garage, I don't think the sound is like good enough to just rely on this Rode mic. And it was actually really expensive, it was like 300 bucks and I wanna return it so bad. So I personally, again, I'm not like a pro. I feel like I still have so much improvement to do on my video quality and stuff. I wouldn't do the Rode mic. I would just get the individual one that you can wear and do it if you're trying to improve the sound in your videos because I still feel like I get echoes with that one. And then I have my Sony a7 II. I got it on Amazon and it was like one of those kits that has everything included. I just feel like all these things are just like kind of complicate things. Like I'm filming this on my Sony RX100 right now. These fancy cameras with the, the lenses changing, it's just complicated. By the way, yes, I also live in slippers and socks because my feet always get cold. <laughs> 
this has sort of saved my life. I have different colors to mark for YouTube posts, Instagram posts, Instagram stories, and I put them on the days that I need to put, make them go live. It really helps you mentally not go crazy. I physically take these off and like throw them away and it feels really good when I finish a video. It's really just helped me and this thing was like 15 bucks. So now we're moving from the Deepika stuff and my filming stuff to Tinted HQ. Welcome, it's like right here. <laughs> so we have two desks here for Tinted HQ and these chairs, oh, they're so beautiful too. And this is where Shayma sits, editorial girl for Tinted. And this is Kate who does the creative stuff for Tinted. Oh yeah, LOL, you'll see right here, this is like a paint station. So Kate, our creative girl for Tinted, actually like paints these swatches that you guys are seeing on the Live Tinted Instagram page. This sign you guys might remember from my New York City apartment. It says, be bold, it's from Etsy. Be bold is my quote that I feel like I live by, but it also fits very well for Tinted. This part of the HQ just, it embodies what Tinted is. Like look how beautiful you guys. This specifically is really cool to me because this was the evolution of the Tinted font. We gave birth to a baby and it feels like the baby is alive and it feels really good. But yeah, they each have their own beautiful little lamps. This Venus one is really cool because the flowers are at the top, but then you can also use it as storage, which I thought was really awesome that they have that. Welcome to Tinted HQ. Oh wait, that's supposed to be, oh. <laughs> and my roommate Kylie gave me this. It says, make it happen. We have some candles burning, which I love. And of course, some cute supplies that we got from Poppin. I don't know if you guys have heard of Poppin, but I feel like they're like the cool version of supplies now these days. That's the only way I can explain it. But I have cute little accents from them that made storage really easy. I am very busy. Bando gets me. We actually have a little space heater for Shayma by her feet because her feet always get cold. For the first time in my life, I'm adulting and actually saving receipts. January, February, I also use a label maker for this. It's like the littlest things make you so much better and this is Target. This right here is a very important aspect to Tinted HQ. It is the bag of bags. So basically every time I get like bags sent to me, I keep them right here and whenever somebody comes to visit, you should come visit, come grab a bag, fill it up with the goodies that you want from our giveaway stuff and take it with you to go. And this to me, I think is a perfect way to close out like what Tinted HQ has. This is our tensionary wall right here. I love this for so many reasons because the person who put this together is my very dear friend, Mary, who has become my video editor. I feel like it's really important when you're starting your own business to recognize your strengths and your weaknesses. I suck at editing. When you're editing yourself, there's little details that you just get obsessed with. No joke, it takes me like 12 hours to just edit my own videos. So I finally got an editor involved, which is why you guys have probably been like, dang, your video edits have gone better. And it's totally all because of Mary. She started her own business, which is a decal business. And she makes custom decals, whether you want it like, you know, stickers for on top of your phones, just anything you want, she has them and she makes them. And I'm just so proud of her. I think it's really cool. And it adds to the inspiration wall along with everything else to see our like keywords, the things that we use and we live our like company by. Come say hi, pants. Everybody wants to see you. This is Pants, this is Kate's Pups. And we want always to have her here at Tinted HQ and it makes my day. She's great. I'm excited that I finally got to show you guys this entire office because it's been a minute. But in my defense, it's only been four months since I moved to LA and that's a big transition, all right? It's a big difference for somebody. All right, so now I gotta answer some emails and actually film a tutorial, hence why that's all set up and ready to go. So you guys gotta get out of here. Thanks for coming by, goodbye. Garage is closing, see you later. I feel like I have an eye booger, sorry. I kind of feel like I look like an Indian Hugh Hefner. <laughs> oh God, it's a little dusty. Ugh. Oh, and this is matcha. Oh my God, do you, wait, why did anyone tell me? Let's cover up the matcha. I'm usually a little more put together.